Welcome back. So in our last video, we got our trailhead environment set up. And in this video, we'll continue with the basics and getting started. So the next couple of videos are all about uh, the beginning uh, building blocks of building flows. So we're going to log into our trailhead environment here in a second. And I'm going to get started just by simply describing some of the UI elements. Uh, this will be pretty uh, basic and, and uh, beginner uh, level content. And we'll just you know, talk about some of the Salesforce apps that we'll be working with, as well as how to navigate to the flow builder in Salesforce. Uh, once we do navigate there, I'm going to spend some time, just a brief um, video, going over the different flow types. And then we're going to dive into building our first screen flow. And so there's some really important logical operators and data elements that I want to introduce you to, as well as just introducing you to the Salesforce flow builder canvas in general. So we're going to spend one video for each of these bullet points, and we're going to actually build a screen flow. It, it wouldn't be a screen flow that you would probably actually use in the real world, but it will be a screen flow that's going to help understand how these data elements work. And so it's going to be really simple. I'm going to be with you there the, the whole way. And uh, let's get started by going and talking about flow types in our Trailhead environment. All right, so here we are in Trailhead. And you'll want to navigate to the Trailhead account that you just created. You should be able to navigate to trailhead.salesforce.com slash today and land on a page that looks pretty similar to this. And what I'm going to do is just click my name in the top right hand corner and then click hands on orgs. And so you'll see that that connected org or that that Trailhead playground that we just created is available here in uh, this list. So we'll launch our new environment. And this will take us into our actual Salesforce environment. And so this is, um, it's called a playground, but basically this is a, a Salesforce environment that we can build stuff and break stuff and you know it's not connected to anything. So we're totally safe to work in here. Quick tour around, if you are logging into this environment for the first time, there are uh, something called apps. And you'll know what app you're in by looking at the words that show right here. So this app is called the Playground Starter app. And this is kind of a cool app for uh, two reasons. One, you can install packages here. Um, this will come in handy later in the course because we can just copy and paste a package ID. Don't need to worry about that right now. The second reason is that if you ever need to change your password or find out anything about your username and login credentials, they have this get your login credentials tab here. So just maybe file that away in the back of your brain. We probably won't spend too much time in this specific app, but knowing that this, this is here is uh, really helpful. The place that we'll probably work out of on the front end is going to be the sales app. So I'm going to click this three by three grid here, and that's called the app launcher. And you'll see that one of the apps down at the bottom is called the sales app. So I'm just going to click that and navigate there. And you'll see that um, a new series of tabs and a different sort of home page pops up here. And this is the primary sort of spot that we'll be working out of on the front end as we build the course. We're going to toggle between working on the back end in terms of building flows and then testing them and building records and things on the front end. And when we are on the front end, this is where we'll be. So if, if this says sales up here, you're in the right spot. So now let's talk about how to navigate to flows. Obviously, the course is about flows, and so we'll be spending a lot of time building them. The way to access the Salesforce sort of back end or the, the builder side is by moving your mouse up here to the top right hand corner and clicking this gear icon. And you'll see that there is a little, I don't know, link or there's a gear icon with a lightning bolt in the middle, and it's called Setup. We'll press Setup, and that will open up in a new tab. And this is the Salesforce back end, as I call it. Um, might actually even be called that. Also, it's also called the setup page, but um, if I'm saying either setup or backend or you know object manager, those sorts of things throughout the course, this is where we will be. And so basically anything you need to do as an admin really starts here. And what we're going to do now is navigate to where we build flows. So in this quick find menu, I'm just going to type in the word flow. And you see like there's a bunch of options. We want to pick the option under the process automation section that's called flows. So we'll click that. And this will take us to a list of flows that exist inside Salesforce. 
And so you can see that Salesforce comes automatically with, it looks like 12 flows built out. Uh, some of these are active and some of them aren't. I don't really know uh, what many of these do because I guess I haven't really worked with, with a lot of these default flows. Um, we're just gonna build our own brand new flow. And um, we'll, we'll definitely come back to this screen many, many times throughout the course. So don't feel like this is the first and only time you'll see this. Uh, you're gonna see this probably hundreds of times <laughs> throughout your career. But uh, the main button I wanna draw your attention to here is this new flow button. And once we press this button, we will um, be prompted to select a flow type as that's the first step. I can even show you what that looks like. So when I press new flow, Salesforce is going to ask me what flow type I want to build. And I'm not gonna go over those in, in this video. I just wanted to kind of give you a brief de or a brief walkthrough of the Salesforce environment. So I'll close this out. Um, in the next video, I will we're gonna make a new flow and we'll go over the different flow uh, record types or the different flow types. And I'll see you there.